Yeah, so what's going on guys? So I just want to inform you about that I'm going on vacation so that we aren't going to have any new, we probably aren't going to have any new videos up in the upcoming week. Although today I want to show you how to uh, install Ubuntu for the disk installer. So if you got your, uh, the installation files on a disk instead of the whoop installer, uh, I want to show you how to use it. I want to show you how to install it side by side by Windows or whatever you want. Uh, yeah, but I just gonna go. I just gonna create a, um, well, uh, a virtual virtual machine. So, all right. But um, what I basically what this basically simulates is that I'm starting a machine up with the um, uh, uh, the installation disk inside. So start up your computer with the installation disk inside after you burned the ISO uh, to the disk. So. Um, by the way, uh, uh, my Samsung Media mic is a bit further away from my mouse than it normally is. That's why it earned a lot of bass on the on the track or on the on my voice, as you can hear, compared to my other tutorials. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, okay. So restart your computer with the disk inside the computer, uh, and well, then uh, this screenshot appear here. Uh, this is how we're gonna look. Uh, then we just gotta wait for the installer to start up. And as you can see, Ubuntu 12.04, that's the newest version. That's the long, uh, by the way, I chose the long firm support. I always, I always recommend, I always uh, recommend uh, the long firm support because it's more supported um, than the newer version. Although the newer version got some uh, other features that that the long firm support doesn't got, but it's not by a lot, it's not a lot, so I always recommend uh, uh, choosing long firm support. All right, but here, um, here we um, we got the setup. You can either try Ubuntu from the disk or you can install Ubuntu. So what I gotta do is I um, gotta choose my language and now I'm just gonna use choose English for this tutorial because I'm gonna lead the partition after. So yeah, English, install Ubuntu. Then down, okay, check these, two, check, check these two boxes, download updates while installing and install this third party software. This basically makes you able to play MP3 files. So that's, uh, that's a need uh, because MP3 files is the standard. All, although you could do it later. If you don't got access to the internet, do it later. Um, but you mainly got access to the internet. All right, so um, so right now this computer currently has no detected operating systems. What you would like to do, then you got two options. You can either erase uh, the disk and install Ubuntu. If you got another operating system, you can install it side by side by Windows or another operating system, or you could do something else. Uh, if you want to do something else, you can here you can create multiple partitions and stuff, but you can just go and play around with it. You can't really ruin anything. Uh, well, then, or you could you could by accidentally delete you you a Windows partition, but you are probably aren't going to do that. All right, now it detect my hard. This is my hard drive, one hundred and twenty three gig point five gigabytes. So, yeah, I want to use my VMware VMware virtual as hard drive, and then. As you can see now, now it's installing. Then I just gonna select my time zone and my is, uh, mine is Copenhagen. Um, I live in Copenhagen. That's the reason. Um, yeah, let's go. All right, there we go. Uh, then I'm gonna choose my keyboard layout, and my keyboard layout is uh, uh, Danish Macintosh. Uh, then just click continue. Then we just gotta wait. Um, okay, so my name is. Uh, the tech root tech re review tech reviewers uh thirty damn it thirty three then my computer's name uh, I I wanna call it uh T T R thirty three uh that stands for the tech reviewers for free then the username gotta be um TDR for free, the same with the password. And of course you can just set this up as you want. I only gonna use TDR for free because yeah, that's a channel's name. Uh, 
All right. Uh, so we got some really cool options here. You can either select the system to log in automatically when setting up your computer, or uh, you could require a password, uh, which I re recommend to do because, but because this is trouble, that's gonna, I just gonna um, uh, select log in automatically. And then you could equip your home folder, so it's gonna require a password. Um, well, that's cool. Uh, then log in automatically. And just click continue <coughs> all right so now it's al almost done copying files and uh, well I just I just, I'm just gonna give it a bit so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed this process up and well uh, I'm gonna add some really, really cool music so yeah see you guys in a bit oh by the way All right, so there we go. Uh, now my installation is complete. Uh, now I need to restart my machine. So I'm just gonna click restart now. Then it's just gonna take a bit to restart. Uh, that's completely normal. All right, so please remove installation media and complete uh, and close the tray, if any, then press enter. So I just gonna, all right, actually now I can't, uh, uh, just gonna press enter. Okay, so I couldn't I couldn't really remove anything because uh, it's a virtual it's a virtual uh, it's a virtual image or it's a disk image that are on my hard drive I don't got a disk inside the computer and now it seems so like all right so there we go uh, this is my Ubuntu desktop uh, desktop and you can see the tech reviews for free uh, well but yeah guys that's basically that's basically uh how uh, you install ubuntu on um on well your computer through uh through a disk so well i hope you enjoyed the video uh see you guys later if i just could get my finger ah there we go okay but i hope you enjoyed the video uh see you guys later